Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on determining an equation of a straight line given two points using the formula y minus y1 equals m brackets x minus x1. Now in the previous video we saw how this formula could be useful when we knew a fixed point on the line and the gradient. So if I just write out how you do that again, if you have a straight line you've got some fixed point on the line, let's call it x1, y1 whereas x, y would be a generic point on the line. And we've got some known gradient, so the gradient of the line is m. Then the equation of that line would be y minus y1 equals m brackets x minus x1. So let's apply that to this problem here. We've got two points. Now we need to know a fixed point of the line. Well, we could use either one of these. And we need to know the gradient. Now, we don't currently know the gradient, but we have a formula for finding the gradient of a line using two points. So we've seen that in a previous video. The gradient of a line is just the change in y. That's the Greek letter delta, capital delta, meaning change in over the change in x. So let's just say we're going from this point to this point. What is the change in y? Well, the change in y, 9 to 16, that's going up by 7. And what's the change in x? Well, we're going from minus 7 to minus 3. That's increasing by 4. So our gradient is 7 over 4. And we'll keep that as a fraction. And now that we've got the gradient and we've got some fixed point on the line, so let's choose either one. I'm just going to choose the minus 7, 9. It doesn't really matter. So our fixed point x1, y1 is minus 7, 9. Then all that's left to do is just shove that and this into this equation here. So we've got y, so y just stays as y because it's a variable, minus y1, so the y1 is 9, equals m, the m is 7 over 4, and then brackets x, x is just a variable x, minus x1. Well, the x1 is minus 7, so we're minusing minus 7, that's the same as adding 7, because two negatives make a positive when they're next to each other. So we got this. Now, that could be the final answer. If the question doesn't ask you to put in a particular form, the equation in a particular form, then that's absolutely fine. But let's just say it asked us to have no fractions in this equation. We just wanted integers. Well, we don't like the over 4, so I can multiply both sides of the equation by 4. That gives you 4y minus 36. And then if we times this by 4, I'm going to times the 7 over 4 by 4, we're just left with 7. And then we've still got the x plus 7. You don't multiply both of those things by 4, because otherwise it would make it 16 times bigger. And then we could expand out and simplify. So that's 7x plus 49. And then if we wanted to, we could just add the 36 to clean up a bit. So 4y is equal to 7x plus 85. And that is the final answer.